Welcome back. Yep, it's Friday. At least here it is. So, yeah, we're going to continue enjoying playing some 10 minute shogi. And as always, um, um, well, I usually have something I lead in with and I've forgotten what it is. But, you know, let's have some fun anyway. Um, yeah, this site. I always get. I usually end up playing Central File Rook. And this usually ends up with very, I don't know, action-packed games. So I don't know if that's for better or for worse, but uh, we'll see how it goes. Alright, any second now we'll find an opponent. Maybe. Maybe not. Is everybody asleep? All right, here we go. Good luck. It's a bit noisy. Let me turn it down a touch. Central foul pawn. Let's go. Oh, we're facing an opponent, a one dot opponent. Um, hang on. I don't want to blow this right away. We're going to play the Vanguard Pawn, and I'm going to push this so they don't get an opportunity to develop the Knight. Um, yeah, this is going to be interesting. I don't really know what to do against this uh, strategy. Alright, it's not on Aguma, so... Okay, let's build half Bino. And give my king an escape and try to figure something out here. Um, hmm. Yeah, let's use our silver general. Oh, right. Of course, they could build this. Um, I think this is okay. And I'm gonna switch to... what's it called? Oh, okay. Wow. We've already seen some aggression here. Um, I can't just let that sit there. Okay. I don't understand this. Um. Why is the lance there? What does this do? I don't understand how this pawn to suji thing works. Um, I guess this is what I'm supposed to do, maybe? I, I'm i very confused. Certainly they're attacking aggressively, I see that. Um, and I want to attack, but I don't really understand this. Oh, if we exchange, if my rook ends up in the center, my rook is exposed. That's not ideal. Um, okay, so we'll exchange silvers on this square. And I'll do something a bit offbeat. Um, 
Whoa, 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 whoa. Really? Nanafun. What are we doing? Let's find out. Okay, okay. For a second there, I thought something really crazy was going on. Um... I mean, yeah, my opponent quite reasonably is playing very aggressively here, but I don't know that aggression enough is going to... I, I don't know that aggression by itself is going to cause this castle to collapse. Um... So... Uh, hang on. They have a silver in hand. Oh, I'm so confused. Something's going on in this game. I don't know how to attack. That's kind of an enormous deficit. Um... Okay, I need to activate my Rook. I mean, yes, my opponent is attacking, but I too need to have some kind of an attack. Separately, this also activates my Bishop, but I don't think my Bishop's long for this game. Um, well... Okay, I guess we'll activate the bishop and remove the attacking piece. Wow, am I really going to play a defensive game where we play double swinging rook? Ah, this is the key attack idea that I missed. That's a nice idea. Um... What to do? Go for Hopefully this is okay. It's a bit awkward for sure. Like this is not the a place I would normally place a bishop. But like given the circumstances, I have to defend. I can't just completely ignore what they're doing. Um, all right, we're going to remove the attacking pawn and see if they indeed they're going to take my bishop. They don't. Um... Hmm, what to do now? So I've blocked most of my pieces, which is not great. Um, let's use this bishop to attack somehow. So I have an improvised castle. It's very fast to build, but it's not very solid. Um, oh, that's clever. Alright, since I have all the bishops, I don't feel so bad about playing this. Uh, this is awkward, but um, maybe reasonable. All right. 
Oh, whoops. Okay. Well, that's not great. Um. <laughs> okay, I wasn't using that rook anyway. That's a bit awkward. All right. Uh, yeah. We're gonna have to probably lose this game. <laughs> Uh, because, I mean, that's pretty scary, having lost, uh, my rook like that. Um, hmm. what to do now? Well, this knight is a problem, so we have to remove it. Yeah, 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 I hear ya, I hear ya. This is not ideal by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, gotta run, gotta run. Something. Yeah. I'm getting wrecked. But as long as I have both bishops, maybe it's not completely over. My attack has completely stopped because I have no pressure on the front of the castle. Um. Oh, that's clever. Well done. Uh, okay, well, I gotta defend, which it's probably not gonna work, but I have to try. This might have been a bit close for a rook drop. Um, oh, also, I'm down to two and a half minutes. Well, two minutes 48. Sad rook. Yeah. Hey, we got a rook back. There's a bright side to that. I mean, I'm losing the game, but we got the rook back, so let's celebrate that. Um, maybe you won't see it. <laughs> he probably sees my threat. Um, like, uh, I'm threatening to take the rook for free. My king is extremely exposed, uh, but I have a horse over here, a bishop over there. I'm trying to find an attack while also... Yeah, so I lost a rook for nothing, but we're coming back slowly. Shogi's exciting, because like, when you drop a rook in chess, you want to resign. Like When you drop a rook in Shogi, I mean, I still have that same impulse, but... I can at least pretend I don't. Um, yeah, I don't know what to do, man. Let's put a rook over here or something. So we're hitting the lance, hitting the gold. Probably threatening rook take... Oh. Okay. Uh, yep, yeah, my king better run, eh? My king better run. Here we go. It's running time. Yeah, I'm considering taking this gold general here. Although, like, again, I have no pressure. I have pawns at the head of the castle, but my pressure is very low. Uh, this actually helps me a little bit. <laughs> Alright, we'll take that. Um, yeah, I better just keep running, I think. I don't think I have much choice. I mean, yeah, that was my attacking bishop, but still. That attack probably wasn't going very quickly, anyway. If I had more time, I'd calculate or start reading out uh, what if I drop a silver here and try to attack while I'm under very heavy fire. But here I was concerned about a silver drop, so I wanted to escape my king as early as possible. Oh, um, I forgot what hour that was going to be. I might... Mm, I don't know if I have time. Uh, it just lands like right in the middle of the workday. So I'm not sure I'd be available to play in it.
Uh, but that's cool that the classical tournament on Lee Shogi is being played. Um, at hours that are friendly to the rest of the world, so that's quite good. Yeah, so I'm debating, like, I got a lance. What do I do with the lance? Probably stick it here or here or something. I don't know. They're trying to find an accurate checkmating sequence. Or they're just panicking, but probably they're trying to find an accurate checkmating sequence. Alright, we're just gonna keep running. This was my idea. This is my only idea, so hopefully it works. I don't think it does. Or rather, I think if they gold drop here, my king starts running, they bishop drop to hit my rook. So if they drop the gold here, I have to take it. Uh, oh. Oh, okay. There we are. There is... The accurate move. Um, hmm, this is not good for me. This is not good for me. All right, what do we do? Um, well, is it not good? It looks awfully not good. But how not good is it? Yeah, so I was saying I have to take this. But now that <laughs> tactic's not there anymore. I still want to take two generals. Strength in numbers, I say. Yeah, that's check. Okay. Uh... Hmm. Strength in numbers, I say. As my numbers are reduced. Okay. Well, that's kind of a problem. Oh, also, I'm in huge time pressure. I need to pick up the pace. Oh, checkmate. Nicely spotted. Alright, well, I deserve that. Let's play another game. Thanks for the game. Good luck.
All right, if they push one of these pawns, I can just push the center pawn. Okay, that's interesting. Wow. Okay. Well, I need my king somewhere halfway safe before I try anything too crazy. Um, but yeah, I'm surprised to see the king moving early. Um, I don't recognize this shape. All right, all right. Here we go. Let's have some fun. I'll take this. Oh. Oh, interesting. I did not think about this. Alright. Well, we're going to have an interesting game then. Um, yeah, I guess I'll offer a bishop exchange here. Right. So now what? Um, <laughs> why not, right? We've come this far. Let's commit to it. <laughs> oh my gosh. What have I done? I've built, like, the world's most interesting castle. Um, that's not good. But... Uh, yeah, I got very excited. Okay. <laughs> yes, that's a good way to respond to it. Um. Hmm. What do I do now? I'll try to build something reasonable here. Um. Yeah, my position is extremely prone to peace drops, so... Uh, okay, what's this? I don't understand. They're, sorry, there's something... Oh, they're trying to win my pawn up here. That's what's going on. Of course. Uh, yeah. And they do win it, so... Yeah, nicely spotted. Um... I thought I'd have a counterattack as soon as that happened. I see, well, hmm, it's not so obvious how I do anything here. This is an idea, but I'm not sure that it works. So I want to drop a pawn behind this, and then advance the knight and see if I can do something. Um... Or, oh, oh, oh dear. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, I've been thinking om almost exclusively about attacking. Um, hmm. I need to think about things other than attacking once in a while, don't I? Well, we've come this far. In chess, usually I can double down and continue making bluffs, bluff after bluff, and eventually something shows up to justify my aggression. In Shogi, we see quite plainly here, like, I just have to crawl back home with my tail between my legs. Because none of this that I've done even remotely works. And our opponents played quite patiently. Um, and, yeah, if I try to be more aggressive here, I'm just going to lose everything. So, 
I should use my Silver General at some point. I got too excited when I played the Snipe move. Yeah, I think my opponent... Has, at least one of us has a level head. So, um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Gotta use my silver. Okay, I'm confused. Um... You know, I'm gonna take this after all. Before their king escapes, I'm gonna try to do something to make the game interesting. Um, so I want to sack the pawn, do another pawn drop here, and that way my knight has not completely gone to waste. Alternatively, if they pawn drop, maybe I move the knight up. No, then I was going to say advance this knight takes pawn drop, then they have silver takes my dropped pawn. So, move order matters here. Yeah, if they drop a pawn on my knight's head, I think the knight's lost for nothing. Um, well, I push... They do knight takes, I drop a pawn, they take my knight, I take their knight, they take... Wait, my rook is further away from my knight than their rook is from their knight. Maybe there's some merit to this. The other thing I have in mind is, like, if somehow they promote this rook, I could pin it to the king or fork or whatever. Um, yeah, okay, so they have some idea what I'm up to. I'm gonna push this anyway. Um, because I need something to attack. If silver takes, I can drop a pawn right in front of their rook. So yeah, they have to do knight takes. And now I can force a knight exchange. Uh, you could question the merits of forcing this exchange, but... Uh, this does allow me to have a token. So... That's appreciated. And then I could drop a pawn right behind it, get another token, and start chasing this rook down. There's stuff I can do. Okay, what? What's this? I mean, yes, this gains a tempo, but at what cost? Like, what are they attacking? What's their real intent here? I'm playing quickly because last game I got in time pressure. I don't need to play this quickly, but um, I don't think I'd spot whatever it is they're attacking. I need them to point it out to me. I guess maybe they're trying to promote this rook. Um, well, that's sensible. Um, Hang on a second. Yeah, I think I like this square for a knight. It's really unusual, but my knight pair are working well together here. It's very unusual to use the knight this way, I think. Because usually this... I mean, this would be blocking my other pieces and itself prone to attack. But because of this shot, I think it all makes sense. Right, so... We're gonna take this. I think possibly... We both missed a lot of tactics in the past few moves. All right, take care. Enjoy the Classical Shield Tournament. Um, all right, that's attacking my bishop. My rook's not active, so you can have it.
Wait, why did I do that? I could have taken the rook first. Maybe it doesn't matter. At this point, I've got them concerned that I'd sacrificed for this because I have a checkmate somewhere. That's their concern. I actually don't see a mate, but... Um, I've got them thinking, that's for sure. Oh wait, maybe I do have checkmate. Um... I only sacked this because my rook was, like, useless back here, so I was tired of holding on to it. This is a way to activate my rook, is to get a bishop for it. Um, I actually don't see a checkmate here. And yeah, I guess this is more dangerous for me than I thought. Um, Go for So I take this with checks. I have a rook and a bishop and three pawns in hand. That was because I had so much ready to attack that uh, I didn't really pause to think about any danger my own king could be in. But I think like I have a strong attack here. It's just I've also given my opponent an attack and I didn't need to do that. So, yeah, exchanging pieces, a bit dubious, I think, but I think it's okay. So next I'm threatening to promote this, gold takes, yeah, okay, so they successfully run. Um, yeah, I gave them the tempo they needed to run away. That was huge, huge blunder on my part. Um... So, what now? They have a knight and a rook in hand. Um, let's attack as aggressively as we can. So I might be threatening bishop drop here. Maybe. I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what my attack possibilities are here. I can't let that stand right next to my king. Whoa, have I made some big mistakes somewhere? I, my king is very aggressive at the moment. Um, uh, yeah, I don't understand this silver sacrifice. It does draw out the king. In general, drawing out the king would be scary. Um, I think some things get overlooked this game. Um, Alright. Time pressure does crazy things to the, all of us. So now uh, they're out of pieces. I got lucky. I got too lucky. Yeah, they wanted to, like, scare my rook away, but um, now my token opposes both of these generals. So, just drop another rook and take the knight, take the lance. I don't know. Um, I got more fortunate than I did. This rook sacrifice was not intentional. But the rest of it is very thought-provoking. Um, yeah. I've been on the other side of this kind of thing where I've done a crazy attack and it's not worked. Here I did provoke my opponent's attack and um, I apologize for being so provocative. Alright, well it's Friday. Um... Yeah, 
I think, in many respects, my opponent did play quite well this game. Um, I'll have to analyze this afterward. I do analyze games off stream, at least most or many of them. So this might be another one that um, I analyze off stream because uh, clearly there are some things I did not do right. And if I don't analyze the game, how can I improve? I mean, yeah, I play this website, Shogi Wars, uh, to have fun games, to play crazy, wild, attacking Shogi. But um, I could enjoy my attacks more if they work. And instead of me having to be lucky and get frustrated when I'm not as lucky. All right, thank you to my opponent for this game. Yeah, possibly they just lost their connection to the server or something, or I don't know. Possibly something came up. Such things happen. Yeah, I'll make sure to learn something from that game. I'll study it. I don't need to occupy your time with this study, but... All right, good luck. Oh wow, they've won five games in a row. There is a very good chance I'm about to get wrecked. Okay. <laughs> ah, what do we do now? <laughs> How do I play against an opponent who's won five games in a row? I don't know, man. Usually I lose. That's usually how I play <laughs> against them. But, you know, we'll, we'll give it our all. See if we can come up with something to make them think. Alright, so what is this? Why are they confused? Why am I confused? I've seen this position before. I still don't understand it. I'm going to protect this for once. Um, but yeah, my king needs to run. Okay. Okay, well, here we go. <laughs> uh, I've always wondered, just, is this a good idea? Or is this a bad idea? Or, like, what are the positive and negative aspects of this move? The positive aspect is, man, this looks like a fun attack. Uh, the negative aspect is, uh, maybe I need to defend things once in a while before attacking. But in this case, I think that this aggression's justified. Like, they bishop drop. I've actually got this point covered. And I don't care so much about this one, because I'm threatening to promote my rook. So, I think I luck out. Um... All right. Okay, so at some point I do actually start to care about king safety and stuff. Um, hmm. I can't push this up to defend this point because I lose the lance in the corner. At least I probably can't. Um... Hang on. Hold the phone. We're gonna... Wait, if I do... Yeah, this is okay, I think. Woo! We got an interesting opening going on today. So I was reacting to, well, if I take this, they could drop a pawn in front. If I play it this way and do this exchange, now they can't drop a pawn in front. So this forces their knight to move forward. Do I do bishop drop again? Like, how many times do I drop this bishop here? Uh, I think I do. I'm confused. Do I take this pawn? Do I drop a bishop somewhere? What do I do? Hmm. 
I've played quite aggressively here. Um, yeah, I think this is still a reasonable move. I don't know if Rift Takes Pawn was better. Oh, right, right, right. Okay, so I've actually cornered all of my pieces at once here with my very unreasonable move. Um, all right, well, we have to continue with this fighting spirit, but um, it's a bit risky. So I've trapped my rook. But my knight is going to cover the head of my rook. I don't know. We've got some fighting moves that are being played this opening. Um, yeah. Oh, that's right. Nothing's defending it this way. Okay. But I thought this is still fine. So I was going to do rook takes pawn earlier. And I was feeling really good about that. I don't feel as good about it right now, but maybe I should. Maybe it does feel okay. Yeah, and actually this is just very strong, right? So all my pieces are lined up hitting the rook, hitting the knight. Admittedly, I'm not hitting their king, but... Um, hmm. Okay... Yeah, they have nothing in hand at the moment. Uh, so we have some... Oh, I have two pawns in hand. What do I do with two pawns? Okay, that looks nice. Um, My king is in a precarious spot. You might be attacking my side of the board, but I'm attacking your king. But this might not last very long. <laughs> um, yeah, so nothing's defending my knight, nothing's defending my bishop. So that's why I'm avoiding like this exchange, followed by whatever aggression I should follow that with. Um, yeah, we're just going to take this. I understand I'm giving my gold general, but my bishop covers the square, so I need to continue this aggression. It's okay if this gold uh, gets taken. This would give them a gold to drop in front of my king, which is terrifying, but I mean, what do you do? All right, so maybe I do run. If they're taking a moment to step away, maybe I do too. So, oh, this square next to my silver is not protected. Uh-oh. Well, that's not ideal. Uh, 
this is Go super not, super not ideal. <laughs> Oops. All right, what do we do? Oh, what can I possibly do against that? Well, this is my only move that doesn't lose my shirt, so let's play it. Um, but yeah, this is more than I bargained for. Oh, right, I forgot about that. Um... There's one small problem with that move. Um, eh, what the heck. Let's have some fun. <laughs> there be dragons everywhere. My king has not moved into its castle. So I'm asking for trouble. I'm going to get trouble. Okay, that you didn't need to do that. That's more fun than you're bargaining for. Believe me. So instead of both of us getting lots of promoted pieces, uh, one of us is getting promoted pieces, the other is just getting multiple pieces. My king is possibly going to make it into this corner. If I get a move or two. Um, right. So. The knight hits this. I guess I'll just keep going. Right, so that applies a lot of pressure. Um, Okay, there's some more pressure on my castle. This is a very nicely conducted attack. Um, Something. I'm not sure about that last move they made. I think they needed to drop a pawn or something to support their attack. Uh, oh. I could be mistaken. I don't know. You tell me. Wait, why did I drop a gold? I had one right here. Why did I do that? Am I crazy? Or maybe this was the right move after all. Okay, they have a gold general in hand. Um, ah. Alright, that hurts. So now what? <laughs> oh, boy. Um, hmm. Now what, indeed. So... Yeah, this is super not ideal. All right, I'm probably getting mated here. Um, yeah, I mean, I could have considered taking the silt. Wait, no, that's mate in one, so I have to deal with the mate in one. But yeah, this this is not looking so good for my king. Um. 
Wait, can I just take this? Can I just take this? He asks. Okay, there's a checkmate right there. Alright, nicely played. I missed this checkmate. Thank you for this game. Okay, well, that was exciting. If I counted correctly, that was three games, right? Oh, yeah, no, that's fine. It's fine. We played three games today. Uh, it was good fun. It was Friday. It was Shogi Wars. This is how I play on Shogi Wars, so hopefully we all enjoyed this. I'll have to review game two a bit later. Um, so yeah, that was fun. Hope, um, so enjoy the weekend. Don't just play Central Rook all the time, or if you do, study it a bit more than I do. Um, but also practice your end games, because like being able to spot checkmate uh, certainly helps during a game.